I always look forward to my conversations with Bill Gibbs. He's the executive director of the Clean Air Force of Central Texas. Please talk a little bit about what the Clean Air Force of Central Texas does. We have one mission, and that is clean air for all in Central Texas. And that plays out in many different ways. But the big way that we do that is we uh, work cooperatively and collaboratively with 38 different organizations, universities, manufacturers, government entities, uh, no other nonprofits, all uh, with the same marching orders uh, to reduce the amount of polluting emissions that they produce and to spread the word for everybody to reduce the emissions. Now, we also talk about when we issue our air quality forecast, fine particulate matter. What is a good definition of what that actually is? Yeah, that, that's a tricky one because everyone knows about ozone, but they don't know about what we call PM or particulate matter. Fine matter is 2.5 microns. This is tiny, 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 about one thirtieth the size of a width of a human hair. It typically cannot be seen by the human eye. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you would uh, notice if it was a bunch of it and it would look like soot or something like that. What the problem is, is these ultrafine particles are so small that they can actually get down deep into the lungs and then enter the bloodstream where they start to do damage, especially if they start to accumulate in core functions of the body. Last thing I want to ask you is about a study done by the American Lung Association rating Travis County a B when it comes to air quality. How does that make you feel? As I looked at the study, uh, three things popped out. One, of all the large cities in Texas, they all failed. They, everyone got an F, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, uh, and El Paso. They all had Fs. And we had a B, so if you're grading on a curb, we're looking pretty good. I also noticed that uh, most of the ones that were A's were the smaller counties, that is the counties that have less population, and they're producing less emissions. However, it's something that we need to continue to work on. I'm not uh, satisfied with uh, uh, just a B. We really want to have the best air in, this, in the state for our own purposes, I mean, because that's what's best for our citizens.